Hi, Hi Floss, Floss Tube. Tube. I'm Nancy. And I'm Laura. And we are the Addicted Sisters. Sisters. This picture is really, really washed out, so I don't know how well you can see it, but we're just cuddling up on the couch. And I believe this one said it's from 19... Maybe this one didn't have a date. Yeah, 1967. And mom um, had put pictures on one page. She glued everything down in her yeah. photo albums. But she had one big picture of everybody in the family asleep. <laughs> and she called them Sleeping Beauties. <laughs> and had a bunch of question marks. <laughs> and I think we showed the sleepy heads last week on the, on the couch or something. Mm -hmm. Curled I'm, up. But anyway... So, it's been a good week for me. How about for you? Well, it's been interrupted with the uh, fourth in the middle of it. Made me think I had two weeks. Two <laughs> weeks worth of work. Yeah, because you had an extra day off in mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, did you... Shall we move on to shout outs? I left my book in the other room. I went in to get it and then left it in there. Oh, well, you go get it and I'll talk about mine. <laughs> I have been really watching one person this week because her videos are not, I, I'll start by this, saying this, it is Nicole the Buckeye Stitcher. Um, I keep hearing about Nicole and hearing about Nicole and hearing about Nicole and I just, I, you know, I just haven't gotten to her and so this week I thought, this is it, I'm going to watch her. And um, she is so fun, her videos are all fairly short. She has a couple that hit about an hour, but mostly they're in the 20 to 40 minute range. So she has, um, I want to say around 25 videos out there. And I've just been having fun listening to her. She has some great cool. projects. One of the ones that she worked on and finished in the videos that I've seen is Ebenezer's, I can't think what it's called. It's from Erica Michaels and it's like Ebenezer's Christmas... Were they the street scene? No, it's a long one, and it has three sections. Oh, and it's I don't about know that one then. Um, you know, it's about the book. So oh, fun! It's really cool, and her finish is just great. And she talked about she bought a uh, Marabilia, one of the, I think hers is called Christmas Visit, oh. or Christmas something like a Christmas Visit. Uh huh. And um. So I commented back that I stitched that Holly Berry Fairy. Oh, yes. that's what I should have brought today. Um, and she said that she hasn't even started hers yet. And these videos are a couple of years old, so it was kind of funny. So oh. anyway, but Nicole does not do Facebook. Uh, she is on Instagram as the Buckeye Stitcher. Um, I think it's just Buckeye Stitcher, not the Buckeye Stitcher. Um, but... It's because she's in Ohio, and Ohio State are the Buckeyes. Yeah, that makes and, sense. Yeah. So that's my big shout-out for the week. Are you busily looking for yours? I was trying to see if I could find some, but, <clears throat> you know, I'm not the best on this thing. <laughs> she came in and opened her book, and it was a <laughs> blank, blank page. <laughs> <laughs> I know I watched uh, Chelsea and um, Priscilla. Priscilla and Chelsea. And um, i got to turn my chair. Are we too too tight? I no, I'm I keep just swiveling like, too. I'm like trying to. <laughs> uh, did you see on I face on Instagram? Did. Congratulations, you Yay. guys! That's so cool. Chelsea, he's a beautiful he, baby, gorgeous baby boy. So anybody who doesn't know, you should hop on Instagram and look up Chelsea three five six and Priscilla Blaine. Because they, and it's B-L-A-I-N, uh -huh. because they have photos of the brand new baby who was born on the 4th. Mm -hmm. What was his name? Cash. And he's just gorgeous. And Beautiful Priscilla um, captured a picture of them. And I, I'm looking at the pictures of Chelsea. She doesn't look like anybody who's just given no, birth. She no. looks gorgeous. And I did notice that she didn't go wear one of her big fancy negligees either. <laughs> So, that was fun. congratulations yes. to all of you. That yes. was really exciting. I love to see news like that in our community. And I'm sorry, so. but that's the only one I can think that offhand that I really watched. <laughs> but I was just, I let it run again. And, and I know I watched three or four, but I, I can't place now. I saw also on Instagram that um, Allison from Canada 
why can I never think stitching social oh. um, <clears throat> she went in and got a haircut like cut nine inches off to donate at least yeah, nine Allison inches is the, red the redhead oh so my goodness and her That's teaser a lot of hair and she didn't show a picture she said go watch our video to see the new do so I have oh. got to get to her because yep. I yep. really want to see it and what a lovely thing I've donated Absolutely. my hair before a couple of times and it's it's such a lovely thing mm -hmm. and just Mm -hmm. I really it's think about nice people gift. like that. So, okay, on to our comments and questions. We're going to be hey, a little quick today. Hey, did she do it on the second when she had to work on a gift? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to be a little quick today. Nancy has a showing in a little while, so we just have over an, a little over an hour yeah. to get this in. So we're going to be quick. Um, yeah. So our comments and questions... <laughs> Julie Dean and Chris Ann both commented about our using their name over and over and over <laughs> and said that Julie said she feels like a star. Yes, she's a little starstruck. <laughs> but they said they would love for more people to join in with them. So on Instagram, if you are doing our Christmas in July and you're starting new pieces, then also use the hashtag Summer of Starts. Hashtag Summer of Starts. And I'll put that in the comments down below so okay. that we can tag that and make sure it's in there. Um, but they would love to have more people join in on their hashtag and play along with them. Their idea is to start a new project every weekend. So that means I have to start something new this weekend. Well, that'll be rough with our challenge. <laughs> our challenge has ended up throwing me way more new projects. Yes. Yes, and y'all know that I don't like to start, 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 start. I like to start, <laughs> finish, start, finish. So this is really... You should go look at your Santa and see if he'll fit in on some. He will eventually. Oh, good. Okay. Um, I want to say to you that I was looking at the full YouTube site. Now, normally I only get to look at it on my iPad, and so I just see, you know, just the bare minimum. Oh. But I pulled up the full site, and there were a couple of comments in there that are old. Um, Ruth, one of them, one stitch at a time, Ruth, one of them is yours, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but the other mm -hmm. one is Mary Fisher, who commented on floss tube number 18. Ooh. Oh, hi, welcome to our floss tube. <laughs> this is floss tube number 23, <laughs> and it is July 7th. 2018. Whoa, you were waiting for that, weren't you? <laughs> but Mary Fisher commented on number 18, so that's more than a month ago. Yeah. And I'm very sorry, but it puts you, you two, Ruth, we know why you're in spam. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Mary, it put you in there, but her question was, she is um, just starting to stitch on linens and even weaves, and she wants to know if we have any tips about how to do that. She's having a hard time seeing it. Um, Mary, I'm guessing that you're trying to stitch over two on that. Mm -hmm. And um, if you, if that's what you're doing and that's the problem, maybe Google specifically how to stitch over two well, on she, linen. She said she had um, Googled and it didn't help. So I'm wondering about her count. If she's yeah. gotten a really tiny count, yes, yeah. all linens are not created equal. No, no, because I can get, a tw you know, I like 28s, and I can get them from different mm -hmm. places, and they'll be a different size. Um, and in that case, what I would recommend to you is get a piece of even weave. Hey, yeah. do you have that even weave I just gave you? Because okay. we can... It's tight, 32. It, this one is 32. Nancy has a 28, I'm sure, behind us, but she'd have to figure this out. However, I have this piece okay. that I just brought her that she's going to try and play with, and I'm going to try, I was trying to find a corner. Um, and I wanted to get it way up close. This is a piece of 32 count even weave. And those holes are real good and even. Yeah, and, then, and we all know I don't do even weave because that's my problem. This is 32 cashel. I mean, 28 cashel. So, and now linen is going to have some slubs. And it's, 
you know, not everything is going to be the same. You realize that one of these is going to be our thumbnail this yeah. week. Yeah. With Pink not black. showing either of us. Yeah. yeah. But look, this one says Colorscapes Hand Dyed Fabric. It does. That's what we talked about last yeah. week, right? Um, but anyway, the, the even weaves are going to have really even thread placement or fabric thread placement. And it should be an easier thing for you to see. So seriously, my suggestion to somebody starting out. Lugana. Yeah, Lugana would work. Is to look at a piece of even weave. Oh, now this one's dark, so you may see the holes even a little clearer and, than our pinks. Yeah, and this is a 28 Lugana. Oh, this must be from Silk Weaver because yes. it's called Intrigue. Let's see, can you see that better? I can see through it better. Yeah. But the holes are going to be regular. Yes. Which on linen, the holes are not regular. <laughs> no, and, and I have problems with that. Because um, there'll be a little bitty thin um, thread, next, and then next yeah. to a big fat one, and then it makes my makes my uh, stitches off a little bit. And if that's not a big deal for you, that's cool. But so, Mary, if you need some more help with that, um, please feel free to comment here again. Or um, you can catch us on Instagram. Nancy is at the Addicted Sisters, and I am at Pattern Queen Three, the number three. Yeah. So um, you can catch either of us, and I'm sure. Hope like, that helped. Um, Vana has tutorials. I don't know if I don't know she, if she has, has that one kind. On that or not. Um, she would be on Floss Tube, the Twisted Stitcher. Mm -hmm. So she would be a great one to go check out and see if she has a video for that. Yeah, and there's a lot of people stitching in hand right now, or stitching, what do I wanna say? They're doing floss tubes and they're stitching. Is it the you stitch can along? Focus on it. Yes. Okay. So. Oh yeah, the you stitch might try that Because then you could watch and see how they are doing it. So, you, you know, you could follow it maybe a little easier. Um, I know that Michelle <clears throat> Bendy does stitch with me regularly mm -hmm. and it is absolutely you know her piece is front and center so you can watch how she's going through now yeah. it depends on what project she's on because she might be doing over one and she might be doing over two so you need to kind of figure that out right. but and mischievous stitchers oh okay mischievous stitches mischievous stitches I think it is she does it too and I'm sure that I'm sure there's um, a lot of them Jan Hicks if you Jim messaged Wilson. any of these people and said, hey, which of your Stitch With Me um, would be a close episodes up or... are, are, is a close-up of over two? Yeah. So, great question, though. Um, okay, Ruth, we're ready to deal with you. <laughs> so, in, in the one from a month ago, you which was a great big long paragraph. <laughs> I think that's why you got thrown to my spam folder. Which is fine. It makes me learn that I need to check it more regularly. Um, but you asked, does my daughter also sew the covers? Well, here is one for this week. This is one of my picks. Katie says it's not going to sell. Everybody's going to hate it. I call it Flower Child. And um, her book people may not like it, you know, but this was like so me. I don't know that the colors are so necessarily me, but... That teal is. The style. And yeah, that fun flower. That's absolutely me. Katie does not sew the covers. I do all the sewing. So currently I sew on this little bitty label. I have to cut all these labels. Katie prints them. I have to cut them out. And then we put um, braid check on them. Then I sew them on to the sleeve. And then we put the other the uh, interfacing stuff in there and I sew it's fusible and I iron and I sew and I sew some more and I sew some more and I sew some more so it's a lot she does the cutting for yeah, me that's what I was gonna say and Jeff has gotten into the picture and he is cutting down my interfacing and he is cutting down some of my fabrics and uh, my shop is still closed right now we're moving from Etsy to Shopify and it'll be probably the end of this coming week 
before we open this shop. Because I'm still playing catch up and we have some fun stuff. But uh, Ruth also, we had talked about last week that there was a, com she said there was a companion piece for Tis the Season, which yes. is the Cardinal. Yes. And Nancy showed hers. Mm -hmm. And um, Ruth came back and said, oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. It's Blackbird Designs. The companion piece is actually for Christmas Garden. And it's called Peace and Plenty. And it is. Did you look at it? I did. It's so pretty. It's, you know, it's really pretty. Um, you want to talk about this one? And I'll find it. Miss Teacher Terry. She um, was trying to find that link in our comments about the Oak Island chart that Laura did. And um, I tried to help her out. I tried to look for it. And I could not find it in our comments either. But I was lucky enough to go out and I Googled it and I found it and put the link under her comment on last week's video, but it was at morestitchespa.com. So M-O-O-R-E stitchespa.com. And it was called Pirate Treasure by Lynn Nicoletti. Lynn Nicoletti. I always want to say her name backwards. There it is. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, so you guys have seen Christmas Garden. Here's Peace and Plenty. I believe it's in a book. Yeah, I think that's what she was saying. And but that's pretty. That would be a good companion. I wonder if it's in that that re-release book that they just did that has the Cardinal and some other things. Maybe. I don't know. Um, and who was somebody I was watching? Oh, I think Pam and Steph were talking about going to visit another shop. Because I watched them this week, too. And they were talking about going to visit another shop, and they have a lot of older things in there. Mm. And they had a whole bunch of older Blackbird design books. Oh. So, you know, if you wanted them, you should call that shop and and uh, get those. Yeah. And that was in um, their latest video, because I was all cut up. I got to see... Um, I got to see StitchCon and all the fun, and I need to find some more people who went to StitchCon because it looked like a great time. <laughs> um, Ellen Chester, along with lots of other people, had a great laugh at our thumbnail. I called it our <laughs> fingernail since my finger was like up my nose. Um, I was pointing out, if you didn't look at it, I was pointing out the scar that I have from uh, the melanoma that was removed, and I got way up, I pulled my glasses up, off got way up by the camera and of course that's what they took for our thumbnail of course and uh I ellen think they look for the worst oh yeah. pictures ellen said oh you were such a good sport about it thank you because mm, yeah it made me <laughs> not real happy kay killian said she dang near i can't say it <laughs> dang near dang near spit coffee on the screen when she saw that <laughs> that was hilarious that made me laugh out loud yes <laughs> Uh, Donna Grimes, you want to talk about that? Uh, I don't know what it says. If they're, if she said that at her grandma's house, oh. if they were standing in front of the TV, grandma said, Is your father a glass blower? <laughs> don't you love that? <laughs> I love the expressions yeah. that people come up with. Oh, oh my goodness. Funny. Uh, funny, funny. Oh, and Jane Freer. Mm -hmm. oh, why would you ask that, Jane? She wanted to know how many patterns we have. There are a couple things you should never ask. <laughs> Political <much> affiliation, <laughs> uh, your age, yeah. How much stash, stash do you have? <laughs> uh, Nancy could probably answer that. Do you think you have more than 100 patterns now? I do. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Um, my patterns... We could pan over there and you could look, but... But my patterns? I have more patterns than I do fabric. I can tell you that much. I have more patterns than I do fabric. <laughs> I can say that, too. <laughs> Nancy's fabric stash is beginning to rival my fabric stash. I, you know, I have a hard time taking them off the wall. Yeah, and I... I you know what? Okay, I was pulling fabrics this week for our, for our thing, and... It was like, oh, but I don't know if I want to cut that. That's where I was at today, too, because I was doing one for Amazing Grace. 
and um, I knew what color I wanted to put it on. Well, every time I'd pick the color, it'd be a huge piece. And I'm like, I am not going to use a small piece out of this big piece. What if I need that big piece? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is like that. Use your china. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know what we're talking about, right? Don't say things till later. Use your pretty stuff. Yeah. Um, in most cases, you can get more. Yes. And yeah. And and if you can't, well, then there's something else out there you're supposed to be using. Mm -hmm. So, I pulled a piece, and people. I, there were a couple of pieces that I've pulled recently that people have gone. Gaga. Yeah. She Everything had a four-letter word. word with it. <laughs> Funny. She knows me really well. <laughs> but, um... That's because that's what I would be saying. <laughs> yeah. So how many patterns do I have, Nancy? You want to guess? <clears throat> I haven't counted. I would say you've got two to three. Thousand? Hundred. <laughs> no, I would bet that I'm at five or six. You could start a store. Almost. One of everything really <laughs> old. Okay, Claudette Shakora. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing already. She oh. said, uh, and I hope I said your name right, Claudette. I think she's on the other <clears throat> side um, of, of Missouri, and she's planning to go to Galleria. And she said she wants to be, she wants to be our friend, and um, she would act like our best friend, and we would think she was crazy. <laughs> We wouldn't know who that stranger was that walked up and acted that way. You know what? Um, if you met me in person and we were at a stitching event. She'd be the same way. I, I don't have any. Now me, I'm kind of like, hi. hi. I, don't, I don't know strangers at events where I know people have the same thing in common with me. I try to be more open, you know, but I still have that little bit of reticence, you know, I'm like. Katie says that, you know, she tries to channel me sometimes because, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I just am a friendly person. Yep. So it would be lovely. Uh, Amy Singleton. Hi, Amy. Hi, I'm so excited. Amy, Amy is, they, they finalize their house on August 1st. She said, we're out of the zoo on August 1st. So they're moving back. They're going to be still a couple of hours away from us, but right now, Amy is in Colorado. Oh. So she would be close enough to That's maybe right. come for that. a visit if we were doing a big day or something. And she got to visit Cece and Company. Great. Amy, I bet you had a blast. I love being in there. It mm -hmm. is so fun. Mm -hmm. um, and then our last one, Tara Ward asked me, she um, said that she saw that I showed Deck the Halls is one of from the Drawn Thread mm -hmm. as one of my projects for our challenge in July and she wanted to know if I was going to use the silks and if not how could it could be converted to DMC well it was really funny because I went to Google and I wrote I typed in convert dinky dies to DMC and one of the very first listings was the drawn thread <laughs> so there is a conversion in there That's however crazy I mean you know yes of all the thousands and thousands of patterns. Uh, but one of the funniest <clears throat> things is that when I went on Dinky Dye's site, there's a search bar up in the com up in the corner. And I must not have gotten the right words in because I couldn't get it to come up on there. I mean, if I tapped it on um, my Google, it would go straight to it. Huh. But, yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. so the funny things you learn. And you'll see what I did with it in a little while, and I think I have a change to make. So that's all of our comments okay. and questions. All right. Uh, Nancy and I did go to CC and Company last Saturday. Yes, we did. And we had a nice time. Did you know, Did you buy something there? I did. What did I buy there? I didn't bring anything that mm -hmm. I bought there. You said you left your stash at home. I don't remember what I bought there. I bought a pattern. Mm -hmm. Because they were having their big sale. Wow. It's been a week. But what I was going to say is that we um, got to talk to Kathy mm -hmm. about the retreat. 
We're getting excited. And it's coming up. And we get to have a meeting with Kathy and Sylvia before very long, and they'll they're kind of excited to get some input and so it'll be fun. Anyway, what kind of stash did you get? Well, because you were so nice to put this pattern oh. back, I picked it up. It's called Snowman by Hindsight. Uh-huh. Snowman. Isn't it cute? And it came with the little um, charm. charm. So I may get it back, but I'm not getting the charm with it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Did you, I be using it? Did you get something else? Too? I did get something else. I couldn't decide on these two patterns because they had two of them. I know I got something else out there, and I can't. I just can't remember what it was. I got a new drawn thread. It's called Sweet Violet. It's in their Botanical Stitches series. It's really and pretty. I just fell in love with that. There's a lot of glare on there. Hope you can see it. Really pretty. So, I mean, I, that white on there, I don't know if you could tell, but that was a white bird. Bird. <laughs> um, I had to run in there yesterday so pretty. because Katie and I were out by there. And um, I got my first, I was trying to get just the picture out, my first wordplay, and it's August. So you see it says August at the top, and it just, you guys have seen these. I mean, they have all of these cool things on them. I really like how sweet this is. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the gardener. Mm -hmm. So that'll be really sweet. Plus, I finally remembered to bring stash that I got a few weeks ago, and you guys have all seen parts, parts of it, of it. <laughs> because I've been using it. I'm breaking that rule. So... Hello, where's that bag? So what I got was two pieces of Heroic from Picture This Plus. Now the first one I got is a 32 count linen. Can you see all that modeling? I can see it. Can you see it? <laughs> Let's look at the other side too. See, oh, that maybe, looks much better. On oh, the other side then. has a lot more color. And yeah. I played with this on the piece I did. And you can see, hello, I cut a piece <laughs> out right there where I uh, was ready. So I did not save my big piece. I bought this, though, specifically to stitch a whole bunch of pieces. So it was pretty easy to cut. When you get your mind wrapped around that, you're okay. But Yeah. And I, you know, like I measured carefully. I pull a thread to cut. Mm. Um, and I did that even with this where I was cutting a piece out. <laughs> but see, I, I want this to go as Along far way, as it yeah. possibly can. My other piece is 28 count and oh, it is a whole year too. Yeah. It is opalescent. <laughs> Those are really hard to see on camera. You can't see them. And I'll get this a little closer and fold it back up. Um, it's just beautiful. And I bought the opalescent in the bigger count because um Marilyn will tell you that she thinks it's hard to work with the opalescence. So, well, I've had some that the um, I get stuck on the threads. The opalescent. Oh, threads. you can see that sparkle so pretty, and this has little bits of red and blue in it. And again, it's called Heroic, and it's from Picture This Plus. It's from their Colorscapes line. What size was this one? That one's twenty-eight. So it's, I've kept it in the bag. And the reason I haven't had it with me is that I immediately took my little bag it came from and I took this cute project bag that I got from Judy Starkey. Hi, Judy Starkey. And I put it inside here. Look at that pretty fabric inside, the yeah. stars. She does really pretty work. And in here are a whole bunch of patriotic patterns because that's what these are going on that's what I'm doing on that fabric and you know it's really this is really cute my bag mm -hmm. so I like that real well that's that that's that and I have um, one other little piece of stash and I'll tell you what it was when I get there okay uh, and I skip things so I'm going to show you my finishes when we talk about Christmas in July
Okay. But I do... Oh, I had one other piece of stash. I thought you didn't bring any. I brought one thing. Oh. Oh. You know what that is? Is that our house? That is our house. And I'm in the mulberry tree. <laughs> and there's the garage. Mm -hmm. So on my birthday, if you were on Instagram, you saw a picture of um, us at breakfast at El Sombrero down in Claycomo. Love them. And I'm gluten-free, but I can have tacos on Taco Tuesday if I go early. Yeah. Before they start using, because the fryer is absolutely <clears throat> fresh. It's the first time. Um, but um, anyway, we drove home by way of the house Nancy and I grew up in. And when is it still there? The house is still up, but okay. the foundation is back. Yeah. So somebody bought our lot and the lot next door, which is Miss Martin's house. And Miss Martin's the lady who taught me to do embroidery. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she did everything else with us. She was kind of like our grandma living next door. Yeah. But um, anyway, they are tearing. They've already torn down Miss Martin's. They've torn down our garage. And I think our house is going next because they are making one great big house on the extended lot. Now, Miss Martin's lot was smaller. It was skinny. It was as long as ours, but it was skinnier. Mm -hmm. And um, I talked about all of this stuff there. They've cut down my ash tree. Uh, yeah. So. I just try not to look. <gasps> but the but thing it, is, they're, they're building it so huge. If it's going to be a house, it's going to be overbuilt for the neighborhood. It is. It is. They will never get their money back. <coughs> ever, ever, ever. So my husband has been working on maps and drawings and different things to go in our, our family shop, in our Love You More studio. And um, he surprised me, not on my birthday, but on the 4th. He <laughs> said we, he, we got him thinking, and he sat and quickly did this. So this is his rendition of what our house looked like. And you can see the he put Ford on the um, <laughs> tail of the truck. Because that's what Dad always drove. And then there's the tree in the back. And I've told stories about climbing that mulberry tree and uh, taking my book up with me. I was much higher in the tree than that. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah. But you really, never stopped on the first lamp. No, it was too low. You yeah. could get clear up in and be hidden yes. by all the branches. It was really but, cool. Uh, yeah, it was kind of a... Yeah, and this is the um, red... Oh, the, the heart leaves. And they do the purple. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm not the plant lady. She's not helpful. So, anyway, that's how he remembers our house. He never saw it red. It was oh. green Oh. when he saw it. And then he got to see it, that peach color. So, yeah. So that's it. Good grief. Nancy's bone is going crazy. Nobody important. Nobody more important than you. <laughs> um, so that's the end of Stash. And I have a previous finish. Um, because we're doing... Christmas in July, I thought I would bring my big Christmas piece. So I have it. I don't think I've shown this before. I don't, I don't think you I have. really need to go back and look. I've got a hair that's floating behind my glasses here. So that's why I keep playing with my hair and my glasses over here. Probably I need to just take the glasses off. And, but anyway, this is Rocky Mountain Christmas. Original art by Marty Bell, charted by Pegasus Designs. I stitched this on 32 count Evening Song Blue linen from r, r Reproductions. And I went back and wow. hallelujah, thank, thanks for Facebook, uh, because I completed this on November 10th, 2015. Doesn't seem that long ago. And then Nancy and I were in the shop and I took it with, we were in CC and Company. I took it in just to show it off, and they said, you know, we're having a framing sale. <laughs> Which they're so. having another one right now. So thank goodness they were, because look at that. And I love this thing. And really, this is the frame that we've talked about. That's a distressed wood frame. And it's even kind of yellowy in comparison to the whites in the, in the piece, but it doesn't matter. It, no, it just looks perfect. 
So that is my completed piece. And I did not sign this one. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think I had plans to. <laughs> and then they said it was a framing sale and I just left it. But it's got a little bit of light padding in behind it. And um, this white kind of reminded me of like Aspen. Uh-huh. They do beautiful work there, and that is such a gorgeous piece. And it is solid. Mm -hmm. It was, it, it's funny, my post on November 10th says, oh, I've really been in high gear wanting to finish it. So I put in 3,000 stitches to finish it. Oh, my to God. To finish it. Oh, my God. There were, in one page, which would be like halfway up on here, in this one page, there were over 6,000 stitches. Wow. So I did see somebody had posted they were starting that and I thought oh girl and it, but they said like Laura did that they weren't going to do a solid stitch they were going to use a fabric behind um they they used that I put in every stitch that was on the pattern mm. this is um you know maybe they're not going to do the clouds but I put in every stitch that was charted so, and you know what? Sometimes when you're stitching something like this, this just looks like a bunch of blobby stuff up close yes. until you get done. And then you're like, oh, there are trees in there. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. And really, the further away that you get from that, the better. Um, yeah. Anybody on Stitch Mania, that was my picture on Stitch Mania on my birthday. Because Katie asks you to send a picture um, that you would like posted. Okay, so guess what? We are up to Christmas in July. Christmas in July. Thank you for playing. <laughs> yes, and we keep getting more people that yes. are joining. So. And um, you can subscribe to the hashtag. You can follow the hashtag. And the hashtag is hashtag Christmas in July Sal, S-A-L, 2018. And it needs to be that because all of the other ones have some crazy people on them <laughs> so i know it's like this long yeah but if you're like me once you type it a couple of times then it pops up for you yeah it will it will but don't do like me and keep getting the <laughs> words mixed up so i um everybody who posted i went in and looked at every hashtag i could think of and i posted comments on all of your pictures and I included the correct hashtag. <laughs> so if you got a comment back from me and it's got a hashtag, maybe it's because your hashtag is not quite there. Oops. And you should be able, where your name is at the top, there should be three little, it, it should be on the left, and there should be three little dots on the other side. And if you click it, one of the things that comes up says edit and you can change your hashtag and move your picture. And you can also add that hashtag summer starts. So day one was stitch something new. What did you stitch, Nancy? I started on um, Blue Flower by the work basket. That's the freebie, remember, uh -huh. that she has. And I stitch it on Parisian Stripe. Which and, is wonderful. And that's... I don't know that your stripe showed so well on Instagram, but it's really pretty. There's Well, dang it. That's what I got. Oh, back up. Right there. So that's where I was, day one. Really pretty. My day one was Reindeer ABCs, which is this one. And it's by JBW Designs. This is what you see when you get the pattern. And um, I stitched this much. It's on um, 28 count Arctic linen. Oh, another one that is new for 2015. So one little reindeer in a tree and the letter Y, little snow. I like my white snow. Uh-huh, that looks good on there. So that was the first for me. Day two, work on a gift. I'm not showing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I got inspired by Stephanie. No, no, I'm sorry, by Pam. Um, of just keep stitching and somebody kept writing something about Pam on my Instagram picture and I don't know if they thought I was Pam but no I'm Laura <laughs> and um, and I was the one stitching it um, but I pulled out this freebie from um, 
Oh my gosh. By the Bay Needle Art. And it's just today is God's gift. So see that word gift? Yep, it's a gift. Um, and I stitched this thing and finished it almost all of it in one day. I finished up just a little bit so that's on the finish next day. Too. Yeah, that's one of my finishes. One of my finishes. Y'all are great for my mojo. Day three, something with a star. Okay, well, I worked on the Waxing Moon Design Fest Witches. This is another little freebie. Yeah. See, you don't have to spend money on patterns. And this is where I got. That is cute. Oh, your, your thread shows so much prettier in person. <laughs> and mine... Of course, I didn't get the stars in, but I got the witches in. <laughs> this is where the rest of my stash is. <clears throat> Excuse me. I bought two little skeins of Weeks Dye Works Deep Sea. And I have been dying to start this. And so I have started Tribal Hippo by White Willow Stitching. And do you see in the front foot down there, there's a star. So my brilliant sister said, well, just count up from the bottom in the middle and start stitching. Yeah. Um, this is one of those pieces of fabric that I cut. Oh. I had figured that I needed um, a fat eighth to do it. That's pretty. And this is Tempest from... Um, PTP? From, yes, from Picture This Plus. That is all of the floss that I had. So I made sure that I got that star in and then put a little more of that, of that foot. Hmm. Are they paws on hippos? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Hooves, maybe. Yeah. But anyway, that was day three. Okay. Day four. Something red. <sighs> I'm so jealous on this one. Jingle All the Way by the Scarlet House. And I got three of the words in. Look at that. And I like that floss on there. I do too. It shows up much better than I thought it was going to. Oh yeah. When we laid that out, I, I was, eh. I yeah. mean, we said, you're going to have to do it and just see how it looks. I think it looks really but good. It really shows up well. That red is so pretty. It's my red check. <laughs> so my something red for the 4th of July is wave. And I, <laughs> I pulled out a piece of that um, picture this plus heroic and um, you know previously sweet land of liberty I did on the 28 count um, opalescent this time I used the 32 count now I chose this side because you can see all that red and stuff and there is like a blue wave that goes right through it can you hold this side for just a second In just one moment please hold please <laughs> so okay there's a blue stripe that starts here and it waves right through the project. Cute. And I also wanted to show you, okay, that's how pretty the fabric is that side. It's way more subtle on this side. So, and now you got to see the back of my project. So it's, you know, way more vibrant on the side that I chose. Okay, day five, choosing the tree. I am working on a winter knocker. Wishing you a warm winter welcome. So cute. Because I wanted to put that big tree in. Well, I spent so much time on the bottom. Putting it in and taking it out and putting it in and taking it out. That I did get the tree up. Now, why did you do that? Is that because it's the checked fabric? Did that throw you off? or No. No. I was stitching along. I was watching somebody on floss, too. <laughs> Stitch along, and I got my count pattern off, and had to go back and. and Ooh, that, you know there was only seven of these little rickracky things, and I got to number six, and I looked back, and there was an error between two and three. Ah, uh, I should have thought to just take that end out. Thank you. <laughs> what, Too bad we weren't stitching together. Yeah. Because usually what one of us doesn't think of, the other one does. Just like her saying, well, fold your fabric in half and count up from the bottom. But, you know, 
that would have been a pin stitch and I would have had to mess with that. And well, you could have left the pin part. And this is so loose. That... You could have left the pin part in though because you would have come back and stitched over it. Maybe. But you can see, can you see the color in that floss? It's really, I think it's really pretty. And I am not using the called for flosses. I just pulled what was in my uh, stash. I don't even know where it's at now. Oh, yeah, this is how I did it. So I'd remember what I had. I have one like that <laughs> with a piece in it. Um, I was so tired on the fifth. I, I don't know. I'm trying to catch up. The third was my birthday and um, and Nancy came over, we played, we had dinner, we played hand and foot. We had the best birthday cake ever. That was a good cake. A yummy stuff. Something new that I found on Facebook. Um, but by the time I finally got to sit down on the fifth, I ate dinner and within about 20 minutes, I was asleep. <laughs> sound asleep never did it so on Instagram I posted that this is my thing for choosing the tree and it's a piece that I did for Jeff and um, I changed the hair color to make sure that it matched the two of us when we were younger and it says first a dream a plan for life heart in hand man and wife and I said that over the years, we've gotten to choose many trees together, and we like those fall trees, especially that are back in the back. Mm -hmm. So that's my... That's one of my favorite pieces that you've done. And this was a leisure arts pattern. Thank you. This is a leisure arts pattern, and, I, you know, I just loved it. So... Of course, that frame is my type of frame. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Hobby Lobby cheapy cheapy. <clears throat> With all of the pretty stuff on it, so it looks good. Yeah. So, the next day, the 6th, was Christmas Feast. And remember on this one, <clears throat> I was doing, I am doing, am doing, I'm trying to get it out without taking everything in the <laughs> package up. The Nebbing Needle, Amazing Grace. Beautiful little piece, love that. And this is one that I just told Laura, I was looking for a pink, and she gave me that other one. So I found this, <laughs> which I have shown you before. Love Thy Neighbor, it's by Plum Street. Well, look at all this fabric I got. So I decided I would start my piece <coughs> down here. So that, well, I'll get to it in a minute. I want to fold it out a little bit. There we go. And fold this. Okay. That's what I got done. Cool. So I'm almost to the top, the curve of the oh, bleeding okay. hearts. We really like bleeding hearts. They're so pretty. Yes. So. So that's your Christmas feast. Uh-huh. Because you say grace. Oh, yes. Okay. So mine is the drawn thread deck the halls. See those birds? They have berries. Berries are a feast for birds. <laughs> Christmas feast. Judy kept going now. How, how is that a feast? <laughs> and I am not using the called for colors. I just pulled some stuff out. However. Yeah, me too on this one. I pulled out my, um, besides the dried thyme, I pulled out all my Vicki Clayton's. Oh. Um, this one, I am using a piece of Helix. From Picture This oh. Plus, and it's actually, um, I'm going to have half of this piece left. This is an eighth of a yard, and I'm only going to use a sixteenth. But wow, how bright is that cardinal? This is what I have gotten done, and Pretty. I think what I'm going to have to tear out is this dark green. No. I think it's too dark. No. I with think my it light green? with your... You don't think it's too dark with my light green? Well, if you don't like it, then take it out. But... I, I just I don't know if they work together. So you're saying if I'm going to change anything, it should be the light green. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let me tell you. Mm. So this pattern, I really like it. And it says that one side has over one, which I don't really enjoy. And the other side, you could do back stitching instead. Oh. So, what you're doing, oh, where's my picture? Here it is. 
So what you're doing is their photo shows the over one. So they've done over one on the branches and on the bird's legs. See it? That's what I'm doing because I was gonna do just the back stitch and by golly, I decided it looks way too nice. So I'm doing a whole bunch of over one stitching. Doesn't it look pretty though? It does look very nice. And I put that red in just for you so you could see what it looked like. And that red is a Victorian motto. It's um, Christmas 2016. <laughs> Perfect. So that takes us up through yesterday. Yeah. And um, I know we both have some pieces we've thought about for this week coming up. Do you mm -hmm. want to show what you have? Or do we want to do them one day at a time? We can do them. We can do them one at a time. It shouldn't be hard. Actually, you should just show yours because mine are probably going to be a little more wild and. Okay. Well, seven is family, and remember, I'm doing this uh, tiny thistle from the sweetheart tree because Jamie started it on the Ada and. Um, got bogged down. Remember, since she put it in the middle of, of the big great big shoe. piece. Now, I will say that today, as long as I can get everything pulled together, because I have to find all of this floss. Oh, good God. Well, you don't have to have all of it, remember. Just what you're going to start on. I know, but I think they're these things, so they're ones I have to substitute out. Oh. So, um... I would love to start. That's a tip for you, too. You don't have to pull all yeah. of your thread because you're not going to be using it all right away. Use what you have and then add in as you go along. Mm -hmm. They did this on 30 count wood lawn, over dyed linen, over two. Um, I'll have to see what I have. This one is called Love and Carrots from the Cricut collection, the cross eyed Cricut. I love that thing. And. My, I'm not going to do the L backwards. I am going to turn it. They gave us a, a chart on yeah. the back that you can turn the L around yeah, so I, that it's the L direction. And, I like that. Movie. And she has such a cute story about it. It was completely by accident, but she left it because it was so fun. So if I can get this done, then that's what I'll do. Okay. Okay. Eight is tinsel, something sparkly. And remember, I'm doing Over the River and Through the Woods by, oh, we, did we sing that? Over the River and Through oh, the Woods go. by Little House. And I'm using the sparkly, which you cannot see, fabric. <laughs> and I am planning to do sparkly fabric as well because I was trying to think what I have um, metallics in, and I could dig through all of my whips and see if I have some. I'm but to do this. Um, I just, you know, I thought, mm, we'll see. So maybe I will pull a piece of that um, picture this plus heroic, the sparkly one, and choose one of those patriotic pieces. Or, or, I have two patterns that I got recently, like when we were at. The last time we were down in Wichita. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be adorable, sparkly. Mm -hmm. I got two Lizzie Kate patterns. Yeah. And one of them is Promise Me. This is the Winnie the Pooh quote. And I'm kind of not feeling like that's going to be sparkly. I, that's a little more. Yeah, I didn't see that. That to me needs to be, you know, Song. well loved. Mm -hmm. Yes. But this one. Be your own kind of beautiful. I think this deserves some sparkly fabric. And I will probably not use the what it calls for unless I just happen to have it. So, you know. That's how I am. And if they've got a DMC conversion and I wanted, like this morning, and I wanted to use my silks because I didn't have the colors that they called for, I pulled the DMC to look at the color and then matched it to my silk. Yeah. So. Okay, so the eighth, or the ninth is something packaged, a kit. Y'all kitted this up for me. 1831 Christmas. So. And I have. And I'm doing it, remember, oh, on, the, sorry. on the pretty gold with all the fabrics. And I have three things that I have kitted up that I can choose from. One of them is, do I have it upside down? Of course I do. It is a Quaker Christmas 
from Bygone Stitches. I've already got this started. It's about halfway finished. I would love to see a finish on it. So um, that may work. And I'm going to work this one in. Christmas Garden from Blackbird Designs. It's already started. Um, and it, you know, I'd like to get to it. And the other one I want to get to. So one of these will be that day. Mm. The other one Beggars. is Beggar's Christmas from Threadwork Primitives. And I've got it barely, barely started. Okay. Okay, on the 10th, something snowy. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to Jingle All the Way. So I'm going to get way in. <laughs> I had to count because I knew I had three words. And then start, start on the, the snow. Snowflakes. So I uh, will probably go back to day one to the uh, JBW Designs Reindeer Parade. Because there, there is, I, the uh, was me trying to figure out what I had snow in. Because of course it's not in those last three that I showed you. Uh, day 11 is Christmas Drinks. What? Yep, Christmas drinks. That was you. A cup of Christmas tea, some wassail, some cider. Yeah, I don't have any of that stuff to stitch. So, so I'll probably take a cup of tea. Yeah, so there may tea. just be a picture of me and Coco or something. <laughs> uh, then day 12 is something green. So one of those last three that I showed you will fit that. Okay, and I'm going back to... Oh, so you winter. get to do your so tree. tree. Yeah. Did y'all notice that I had it on the check, too? And is that gray check? It's gray check. But doesn't it look green? A little bit. That's why I had to ask you if it was gray. And I really think once I get the green tree on there, it's going to green it up. So I'm going back to that. And then um, day 13, which will be next Friday, Friday the 13th. Speed skating. Speed skating. And we said set a timer. So choose... You know, choose how much time you want to see. Take your before picture of where you are. Set your timer. And when you get done, take a picture afterwards. And I think I'm going to start, go back and do some of these again. And just do, I don't know, 15 minutes or something on each Ooh, one. and see how many you can get done. Yeah. Ooh, that would be yeah. fun. Speed skating. So you're doing several events. Yes. <laughs> In your speed skating. Doing competition. So... That's a lot of stitching. Um, obviously, y'all are great for my mojo because I had those two finishes this week. I had Wave, and Wave was by Bent Creek. And I had Today is God's Gift from By the Bay Needle Art. And I can't wait to finish these. I'm going to finish this into, they're both going to be like little pillows or mm -hmm. pin cushions. Okay. So Very cool. that's that. And that's about all she wrote. Well, wait a minute. Oh! We talk about what we worked on all week. You know, I work at work. work I stitch at work. <laughs> I, <laughs> I work, work at work, work, too. <laughs> so here is my um, welcome spring. That's where I'm at on it. Oh, I love all the swirlies up there. So I'm almost, I've got just a little bit to put in down here. And uh, then I'm on to the second page. So cool. I got a, a couple extra little stitches in up here. <laughs> Flower ran into it. I had some things that had to have some frogging done this week and uh, in wave. You know, we talked about those thin, thin threads in linen. Yeah. Yeah, I ran across one. Oh. And no. I had to um, go in and take care of it. So I definitely had some frogging. But it's okay. I figured it out. It was, and I and I stopped and didn't panic, because where it was, I had already put in those light blue letters, and I was starting to put in the red stripes. And when I got over here, I realized this red stripe was going to run into the V, and I thought, well, doggone it! What does that mean that I've put in wrong? And then, you know, are all my other letters wrong? Well, no, I put the light blue letters in. I put in W A, I think. But, no, I started here on these. So I had already put these all in. So these were fine. My problem was in this long leg of the V. Mm. And I had to take out the got whole V. carried away with it? Well, one got, um, there was a thin thread, and I picked oh. up an extra thread. Oh, gotcha. So I had to take out 
the one stitch leg and then up to about here. Oh, shoot. But only in that one. My E was in the right place because I had placed it from the F below it. Lucky. So it was good. It was a good double check. So you, this week, you're uh, staying I'm with the us. Christmas, Christmas in July. And I'm going to work on um, Hello Spring. Hello Spring. At work. Mm -hmm. So you're doing this at night. Yeah. Ah, okay. So until next week. She's Nancy. And she's Laura. And we are the, the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. Have a stitchy week. Bye.